Hey, Sean. Whoa, what's up? Damn, girl, got you. I'm good, man, I'm good. Um, this is the, the time where we record my place, so I don't have to worry about driving. <laughs> We're just like, beer, 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 beer. 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 It's, uh, it's, it's been real fun. And the best part of it, too, is I don't have to worry about driving either because my wife's over getting pet stuff, and I'm just going to drink beer while she does that, and she's going to come pick me up. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we have a beer courtesy of the boys over at FLX Beer Reviews, Dan and Mike. Check out their channel if you already have it. We're going to link to them after this. We'll link to them down below as well. Um, this is Other Half out of D.C., Green pop top hat. Are you proud, Dan? Uh, this is their double dry hopped Nelson in Wahiti dual hop Imperial India Pale. Do you want to say dual hop? You're going to say plus eight and a half percent. Part of the New Zealand Hop Week. Part of our New Zealand Hop Week. Even though Mike just said I don't have to say it in every video, I probably will because you can't control me. You're a walking embarrassment, really. I got what was coming to me. <laughs> Well, when you get that dog, you'll be getting what's coming to you. Well, no, I meant because because this didn't open. Oh, no, I'm just telling you. This will pour. I stick my finger in, I'm like, oh, it's all mine. <laughs> oh, you put your finger in, you got to cut your fucking finger. You have blood everywhere. I'm like, yeah, it is all yours. <laughs> I just was like, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, wow. I don't know why, but this beer tastes like pennies. There's no red, there's no other half brood, brood, uh, brood of red IPA. Wow. Jesus, fuck. Uh, so Wahidi, uh, we've definitely had before, but... Um, yeah, yeah, of course. And Nelson, I think we've had a couple times. A couple times. So, um, I mean, it looks... Um, like an IPA? Like, a like an IPA. IPA. Yeah. Very, very, very white yep. head. And it's... I mean, it looks a little bit like uh, beer we had earlier, but it almost looks like, what would I say, like, like pineapple juice kind of a look. Yeah, a little bit darker maybe, but yeah. A little bit, but in that, that round. Yeah. Like a nose? Do it. Dude. I don't know if it's like the Wahidi. It's not the Nelson, but the malt character it's gotta be the malt like that is like super crackery malt like cereal very light oh my god yeah I, I'm getting that that sort of crackery biscuity kind of a thing but I'm, I am getting a lot of Nelson I'm getting like um, a stringent white ale yeah I can see that but like I think my my nose is right on that malt character like that smells oh man I, I, I love when I get that character because it reminds me of of morph so if you've been watching the channel for a while you used to know back in the day we did like every morph for like three years which was nice just for rotating hot series it always had this lovely crackery malt smell to it that brings me right back cheers thanks dan and mike That do be interesting. Yeah, it's got this astringency, a little bit of green, green astringency to it. For being canned on 225, today is April 8th, so a little over a month old. It definitely has, has a good amount of green on it, and we've been reviewing other half beers for, for, for years now, and like their beers, they'll last for a while. Like up to like two or three, as far, like I think, I think we've done like double IPAs and triple IPAs like three months in, and they're still like super fresh. This is real. I don't know if I've ever had another half beer this. I've heard that it happens with the Washington DC one. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. I was, I was wondering where this, where this was gonna go. I'm really, I, I'm gonna be there in a, in a week. Yeah. Uh, having said that, I don't find that at all uh, offensive. This isn't green like some of the beers we've had, which are just like unbearable. Yes. Yeah. This, this is green in a way that's a vegetal and. Um, a, a little bit of a hop bite, a little bitter, a little, um, a little um, uh, piney in a way that you don't really ever get out of these two hops. And to, to, to go back to, to the first one we released for New Zealand Hop Week, this one, the, the How To, said a little less fruity than Wahiti. There's a load of fruit character in this. So that that's why we kind of want to do these like back to back like this is very interesting to see what they meant by that is a little less fruit character this this is all up in your fruit face 
all up in your fruit face? What does that even mean? Um, wow. Um, it is, although, you know, I, it does have a lot of melon. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting basically almost like, like, um, almost like brute champagne, um, in that sort of, like that, that sort of stringent, um, okay. white grape, um, wine. It's almost, it's almost like brute in that, in that sort of astringency, but I'm getting a lot of melon. I'm getting a little bit of peach. I'm getting a little bit of, uh, of, of like, uh, like tangerine kind of pith or rind it, this is yeah really freaking good would you say you you've been using the word brute a lot so my question is do you think this is their sort of stealthy low-key take on a brute ipa no yeah. no i uh although this to me would work incredibly well in with breakfast yeah a little bit of splash of orange juice in this too Jesus Christ. But the melon characteristic is interesting. The weird thing about the melon characteristic is it sort of hits after it bitters for me. Interesting. At least when I took that sip. Right up here. Like yeah, it does. It does. It's it's yep. so interesting. Like like it hits the front of my palate, then it then it then it then the bitterness happens, and, and the front it, of my palate again hits the melon as Yeah, then the melon comes down like ET's parents and the, the spaceship yeah. right at the end. Yeah. Interesting. This is really good. I wouldn't, like, the, the Nelson is there, but it's not the star of the show. I feel like the Nelson's there right away. And then after that, it tum becomes something else. Like, you're immediately you're getting that sort of, that, that white grape, that sort of champagne, white wine, yeah. that, uh, that, that kind of a, a, of character. And then immediately, uh, I feel like the Ruwaka, uh, or the Waititi, sorry. Wahiti, or is it Wahiti or Wahiti? Wahiti. Wahiti. Yep. Or heaty. And then that comes in. Yeah. It's really interesting. I like it. Yeah, it, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I definitely like it too. But I, like the, this is, I think, I'm glad we split this can. I'm glad we split all the cans we've had today because otherwise I would not be able to do this. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, I wonder, I want, really? Is that necessary? You're the he drove by on the highway, looked over, saw we're sitting on Mike's porch from like, hundred yards away and said I'm gonna make this lot because they're probably doing beer reviews that might be 35 yards I don't know think about it, like from there to there it's like what first base from home that just looks exhausting if I had to run so I'm just imagining that's what a football field is <laughs> wow um yeah I think I think this is really really good I don't I I don't know I, I think I may be happy with the 16 ounces of this really yeah I, like maybe not on my couch but at a bar I'd be happy with it Okay, that, see, and that's perspective. It's like, when, when, when are you drinking this beer? At a bar? Yeah, 100%. On my couch, where I like to constantly switch up the beers I'm same, drinking? Same, same. Yeah. If I could do only eight-ounce pours on my couch, I'd be happy. If I could do five-ounce pours on my couch, I'd be happy. <laughs> I'm, like, constantly, like, I don't need another beer, but I want another beer because I want to taste another beer. Yeah. yeah here we are. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to the rest of New Zealand Hop Week over here on Nerd Sense. <laughs> um so down in the comments if you had other halves double dry hop nelson and Mahiti, what do you think of it what do you think of other half in general do you uh did you hear what mike heard about their uh washington brewery being a little bit more greener than the other couple um i, I just, just haven't got everything dialed in yet yeah is basically when I, what i've heard and that comes to in different ways yeah including this yeah of course um but yeah but, but this much if, if they're not dialed in and it's this this delicious but you can tell where where the cracks are showing yeah. But those crackers are still delicious. Yeah. The one thing I just thought of, the crackery malt is sort of like in between like the fruitiness and the stuff like that. It's still there, but it's not as apparent as it is in the nose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's it's still really good. But um, yeah, down in the comments, if you had this, and also thank you to Dan and Mike for sending this, check out FLX, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you can probably post new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this is Nerdsense. Nerd